did you, uh, did you guys see Beowulf yet? I mean, Angelina, she's pretty hot, huh? Yeah, I'd like to get myself a piece of that. Go sell heterosexual someplace else. We're not buying. Honestly, Ike, I didn't think you had it in you. It's in your nature to doubt me, Bob. How happy are you? Let's just say that under Schmucko's reign of terror, Midwestern currents never did better than second place. You guys know I'm still in the room, right? The ratings have been good enough for number one the past few weeks. I'm not big on pats on the back or hugs for that matter. The show's performing and I'm pleased. The question is, what are you gonna do for me next? Well, we're already planning the, the cliffhanger finale, which I actually outlined prior to the strike as David, I felt. please. The grown-ups are talking? Relax, Bob. We've got you covered. My team is already working on it. I'll pass on your inspiring word to the troops. You're a hell of a speech giver, Smyga. Gave me goosebumps. <laughs> uh, idiots. I gave them beauty and elegance, but instead, they celebrate mediocrity. What are you reading? It's the next script for Midwest Recurrence. God, I can't believe what's happening. Crazy! You write for the damn show. Why don't you get this? It's just getting good. Didn't you forget something? No, I just realized that you're not the boss of me. He is. I just met with Bob Smiger. He's not happy. We're barely making it in our time slot. That damn singing vampire is kicking our asses. The finale better be a thing of beauty. I don't want my legacy to be killing little Sally's show. <laughs> it's funny, because you're a dude. <laughs> it's time you finally proved you're real writers! Like, David, while I like you and you're a mildly attractive man, I don't play for that team. Why'd you lie to them in there? I mean, news like this could only help, and, and you're Bob, we need a big finale. The only way to get right is to work at the top of the game is to beat out any sense of self-worth or inherent self-esteem. Are you suffering from dementia? I mean, that pat on the back is what they need to bring in a great episode. You don't get it. This grand experiment in insanity is only working because they're not afraid to take chances. If they suddenly thought they were doing something right, all we would get is recycled versions of the same crap. Or, as I like to call it, your first two seasons. You, you know, just because you're a thousand old man doesn't mean you know everything. So, uh, anyone got any ideas? That don't involve animals of any kind? Or explosions in underwear? Yeah, well... I'd like to chime in with my typical annex, but, uh... I got nothing. Come on, guys, we can do this. I don't care what the numbers have been. We're writing the hell out of this show. It's time to go for broke. I can see the episode on my head now with uh, 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 thrilling car chases and, and confrontations with gum chewing men. If we could only build to something simple, Betty and Edward in a quiet final moment, no pretenses, just them together. That's perfect. Yeah, but I don't have any brown for the tail. Every day, you scare me a little more. Seriously though, uh, Cats and Ponies over there has a good idea. So we start huge with them on the run from Gum Chewing Man, and then small. And Boy Wonder can even blow some crap up. Get started, I'll be right back. If that's porn, I'm out and you're a cliche. Give me some credit. I'm posting personals online. David needs a man. What do you got? I think we cracked it. The staff is drafting something right now. I knew you had it in you. Good job, kid. Good. Uh, you're both here. I've uh, decided to cross. Therefore, I'm going to be in the room for the finale. Thank God we're saved! But Tripp already has a storyline. <laughs> I don't care if he's got a whole damn script. 
This is my baby and I'm gonna handle it. Big talk from the guy who's been whimpering behind his desk the whole time. Hey, I'm the only one who has the right to make fun of David around here. And to what he said, add the word pansy at the end. Look, uh, I've got Bob's full support on this. We're behind David on this, eh? Sorry. How does he do that? I have assistants hiding under your desk with radios at all times. Justin, you can go now. He's been lying to you, by the way. The ratings have been amazing. Well, I guess there's nothing more to say. It's your show, David. Everyone listen up. David's in charge again. And I just wanted to say, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm off to get drunk. Good night. All right, I'm gonna keep this real simple. I'm gonna write this final episode, and whatever I want, be it a metaphor, a cup of coffee, or silence. Shh. Good girl. Now, I want you wannabes to throw out whatever you've been writing and let a real writer get to work. Big idea then, David? Oh, well, naturally. Yeah, we're gonna fight fire with fire and then with a big musical number. Exactly what the writers of already thought of. How about I bounce a song idea off of you? Something like this. Don't wanna write for a gutless prick like you! Don't wanna be here now because I quit, so screw you! <laughs> <laughs> Kinda felt a little forced.